What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. We have yet another sewer that we're going to have to traverse. Pointed this out when I opened the map up at the end of the last episode. It's pretty much a straight line. It's more linear than the homecoming sewer. So no opportunities to get lost to- Oh, there's a little hanging scratcher. There's one on both sides. You know what? Since that guy's gonna come at us from the left, why don't we head over to the right and not get hit? Exactly as planned. Now, you know, if this is so linear, might as well check the only truncated little paths we have here. Because I bet there's some- there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was wrong to suspect that there might be anything waiting anywhere. Yeah. Never feeling good with those guys around. Especially when I'm getting chased through a sewer, I see health. I assumed correctly that there would be something somewhere. I am vindicated. Ah, ah, ah! Jesus! Jesus! Oh, the Botchamania clip is my favorite. Jesus! I've been in the danger. No, oh, damn it! Why, why, why would I even want handgun bullets? I've been in the danger zone. <laughs> All right, let's get a move on. The sooner we get out of boring old Final Fantasy 13. Oh, there's some mumblers. Final Fantasy 13 sewers. The better. I would have looked like a real dumbass if I had gone the wrong direction down there. No! Oh, what the f hell was that noise? Not the mumbler grabbing me. The noise. And the music picked up really sharply. Whoa, what the f hell? Oh, right, there's stuff behind me. I don't have time to gawk at really imposing looking corpses strung up on barbed wire. Just get- would you get away from me, guys? Yeah, there are little carousel horses suspended in the sewage down here. That's... I hope they wash those off before the kids ride those. It's some sort of... outbreak. The amusement park. I really should heal. I hit- I got myself hit so much. So, so much. Grabbed by mumblers. Slashed at by stupid hanging scratchers. It's amazing how much this reminds me of Silent Hill 3. Well, we are in the same amusement park, so should remind me of Silent Hill 3. In fact, Silent Hill 3 seems like it actually depicted this area pretty accurately. This all looks really familiar, as it should. It's pretty cool. I believe this is, like, this is right around the area where you, uh, the forced death in the beginning of Silent Hill 3 happens. If you don't die before that, I believe. I'm hearing a little bit of static. Yeah, there's a great kid. I don't know how I could... Okay, I, I turn the flashlight off, and that's when he notices me? Fuck you, kid. Get off my lawn. Can I go anywhere around here? Ferris wheel is operational. That is the only tourist attraction in all of Silent Hill. Come to our blood and rust-covered nightmare realm. We have an operational ferris wheel. It's held together with occult magic and gyromancy. That's not true, that's not how gyromancy works. How it actually works is way dumber. Actually... Could say a tilt-a-whirl, or a ferris wheel, or a carousel, or anything like that, couldn't that... Couldn't that be some kind of gyromancy symbol?
Either way, though, we have to stop running in circles. Do I have a map for this place? I don't. It's always a good question to ask. Is this, this is totally the sewer I came from. I've gone in a gigantic ass circle and found nothing. It was foretold by gyromancy. Oh, I don't want to find you. I just want to find a place to go. Maybe I should be a little bit more systematic in finding my way around here. Uh, there is the carousel. No, is that? No, that's the Tilt-A-Whirl. Okay. Let's get lost at the amusement park. I lied before when I said Ferris wheel was the only attraction in Silent Hill. We also have shoddy tilt whirls and whatnot that look like they're strung together with duct tape and chewing gum. That's wonderful. Oh, I see a thing, which is exactly one more thing than I have found so far. Is this anything? No, could not be further from anything. Uh, at least I found a safe pad. That indicates that I may be going in the right direction over and over again. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, for the love of Jesus, please. This might be the right way? Ah. Oh. Of all the places to be lost, at least it's a fun place. Despite the, the horrible... Skinless gray children trying to stab me to death. You know, this is a pretty pleasant place. This. Okay, I know where this is. I actually remember this. I am in the right place now. She's a terrible shot. She really is. Another abandoned wheelchair. At least this time we have a reason for it being abandoned. Oh my god, Harry, get up. You just- you only got shot. 50 Cent did this like, what, 13 times or something? I think you can handle one bullet, Harry. Okay, so, I know she shoots you now. And, oh, nope, not quite what I want to happen. Want to have happen yet. Okay, yeah, let's just- Get in melee ro Oh! She pulled out her gun. Okay, this seems like it should be a good position. Holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Do I want to use one of my ampules? I'll save it. I have 12 of these, why not? Okay. So, remember that mysterious red liquid we found in the director's office that we bottled with a plastic water bottle from the kitchen in Alcamilla Hospital? This is the purpose it serves, and this is also... I... I May have to get a little bit closer. Ow. Don't smack me. No? How do I use it? This isn't good. Let's try again. Okay. This is also a determining factor in which ending you receive, which is why I actually remember what to do here. Sybil, wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry, what happened? Shh, don't talk. I'll take care of you. Harry, why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. 
we found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. I figured you'd show. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? interrupting the cutscene I just think it's a really funny animation <laughs> what is this Cheryl, give me back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Dahlia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa, this is the end of your little game. Mama? Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. Lisa, what happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. Nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. 
What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Damn! That's like the most important ten, five minutes, I was gonna say ten, but maybe time just dilated in my head, of the entire game, holy shit! You get a real tiny, just minuscule drip feed of information early on, and then at the end it's just like boom, 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 reveal, 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 bombshell, 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 one after the other. What impressively strange pacing. They packed, like... They packed several twists into the past five minutes. There's Harry's revelation to Sybil that Cheryl's adopted, and he even kind of spells out that there's some connection to the town with her. Dahlia is Alessa's mom, and the Flowros is used on Alessa. We learned a lot more about Alessa. And then Harry once again kind of passing out and waking up in the nightmare hospital with Lisa and that whole cutscene so much going on ooh that's a weird camera angle weirder than most I'm being summoned what happened in this town what could be making things like this I have a feeling if I take the elevator down I'll find it Cheryl. Whoa. This looks almost exactly like the Nightmare World Alcamilla Hospital. In fact... Hold on. Yeah! This is the birdcage room from the first time we visited Alcamilla Hospital. Cool. And that is completely locked. We have some bullets. The... So... This area... I believe functions similarly to an area at the end of Silent Hill 3. So, can I grab that? That looks like... There's a key in the faucet. But I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. Really? It looks... Like it's just kind of sticking out there. I wonder... I know it's not a solution, but I wonder if I still have the magnet. Get some... Maniac Mansion style alternate solutions to puzzles. No. Can't do that. Okay, so we'll go back out. Okay. Can't kill the specter of Alessa. The word Phaleg is carved on the door. Okay. So, let's see. Let me just get my bearings. And this... Oh, this is the antique shop. That's a key. <laughs> Old clock, there's a square hole. In the center of the clock. Why is there, wait, why is the clock face square anyway? Time is a circle, that's why clocks are round. The hands of the clock, it's a key. Well, yeah, I noticed that way before you, Harry. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. Smash that shit, you have a gun! No? I, I have a big hammer that apparently clips through it. No, Harry? No, none of that? Guess not. Do get a first aid kit. And shotgun shells. My favorites. Since it seems like we can't do much else in this room now, 
guess we'll head back out. There's kind of a balance problem here. Oh, jeez. Where because the hammer is so good, and because resources are so scarce, that one, you don't want to resort to your guns with limited ammunition a whole lot anyway, and then you're also so well served using the hammer that you run into the, the issue that normally happens in games where like you're only saving your powerful weapons up for uh, last resort type situations. Those are windows. I should turn this back on. That's locked. Ophiel? Or Ophiel? So we have Phaleg and Ophiel. I uh, don't want to take that just yet. So we have to go down into the basement. But before we do that, let me close the episode out. And I guess we will wrap things up in the finale in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.